Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to my Logic Pro X tutorial mini series on how to make a synth riser five different ways. Each tutorial will explain how to make a synth riser in a different way. Even though I'm using Logic Pro in this tutorial series, you can use these ideas in just about any digital audio workstation. Let's get started. The next synth riser we're going to look at is um, using the MIDI pitch bend function. So this is basically going to bend our MIDI notes and we're going to continuously do this as we're playing chords in this case, but you can do this with any MIDI instrument. So I'm going to mute this last one here and then I'm going to open up a new track and it will be a software instrument and I will pick the ES2 and I'll pick one of my factory defaults. I'll do um, Mao 5 or mouse. This is a dead mouse um, synth that I have and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get out of my automation screen. I'm going to make a new MIDI region. And I'm just going to put um, some chords, some minor chords here. Whoops. So I'm zooming in by hitting Alt and scrolling my mouse. And then to make a new note, I'm going to Command and click. So I'll do F sharp. We'll do an F sharp minor chord. So there's the F sharp minor. And I want to do eighth notes, staccato eighth notes. So it'll sound like this. And what I'm going to be doing in a moment is um, bending the pitch. But first, I'm going to get this to my eight bars. OK. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that first because I'm going to bend the pitch and then copy it so my life's easier. We all like when life is easier. So anyway, to get to the pitch bend function, I'm going to click here, which is basically automating the MIDI. Um, and right here it says volume, and we're going to go to pitch bend. Now MIDI data is from, in this case, 0 to 127. So um, the beginning, it starts at 0 if you don't want it bent at all. And bending it down 64, which is the equivalent of 0 here, is like having two semitones lower. So that's one whole note or... Two half, one whole step or two half steps. So I'm going to go down to minus 63, or it should let me go a little lower. Yep, minus 64 right here. And then let's get it all the way to the left. And then I'm going to have this go all the way to 63, which is the highest note it can go on this end. And uh, what I'm going to do here is get this. Once it gets finished playing the last note, I'm going to have it go back down to negative 64 because that's what our next note's going to be. There we go. Okay, so here's what this sounds like right now. So we can hear the chords start to rise. So I'm going to make a copy of this. And now we're here we're back at 64. Sorry that this keeps coming up. But anyway, we're back at 64. I'll make this a little bigger. And my notes right now, this is still at that F sharp minor. But because I went from basically negative two half steps and then to positive two half steps, that's a total of four half steps. So to get that back onto the right pitch, I need to bring this note up four half steps. So one, two, three, and four. So now the pitch, now basically four half steps above that I'm playing two half steps down. Um, it's the same as over here when I'm playing four half steps below, but two half steps up. Anyway, sorry for all the math here. I love math, but I know not everyone does. So anyway, here's what this sounds like. So that was pretty smooth when it comes to the pitch. And then to finish this off, we're just going to do the same process over and over again until we get all eight of our bars. So I'm going to copy this here, and then I'm going to highlight this, 
actually, before I do that, I'm gonna highlight all of these and then deselect so I can click just the ones that I wanna move, which are these ones. And then I can line them up with the last one that I had and then just go up four half steps from here. So one, two, three, four. And then I'll do the same thing with all four of these to get my eight measures. And then I'll highlight them again. And then I will do this. And then I'm gonna bring these up. It's a little bit tedious, but it, it does get a pretty cool sound. Anyway, one, two, three, four. And here's what that will sound like. So basically, um, the one problem with this is now that I've gone eight full measures, it's gone up uh, pretty high, almost past where you it, it sounds good. So I'm going to highlight all of them by hitting Command A, and then just lowering the first one, which will lower all, all of them, by an octave, so 12 half steps. So now to the, the next half, uh, F sharp. So now let's take a listen to this. So that sounds better. And you could even bring it down another octave if you wanted to. But that's the basic idea of uh, that synth riser. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ performances, or DJ tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.